textbook October day today. It was chilly this morning, but we've had sunshine most of the day today, and that warmed us up into the 60s. These are the current temperatures here as we hit the 6 o'clock hour, lower 60s, even a 58 in Sharon. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, sweatshirt weather out there early on this evening, but temperatures tonight will be kind of similar to last night. And speaking of last night, we had a kind of a surprise appearance by the Northern Lights last night. We talked about the Northern Lights a lot late last week into the weekend, but it really didn't come to fruition in most of this side of the uh, globe. But uh, this picture from Tim and Warren captured the the glow on the northern horizon last night. We got a several other pictures from our viewers and followers. Thanks to everyone who chimed in. You can follow me on Instagram, Eric WFMJ, and submit any weather pictures via email, weatherpics, P-I-C-S, at WFMJ.com. You can also submit them right on the Storm Tracker 21 app. The Aurora will not make a repeat performance uh, out there tonight. Uh, last night, the uh, auroras were definitely visible, not only here locally, but in some pretty far south latitudes. But tonight and into tomorrow night, uh, the geomagnetic storm or the geomagnetic activity will be dissipating quite a bit. In the meantime, our big weather story back here on Earth. This is, of course, powerful Hurricane Milton, which has re-strengthened into a Category 5 storm. It underwent what we call an eyewall replacement cycle last night, and it weakened uh, just briefly with that. But now it's a Category 5 again with the pressure down to 905 millibars. Still expecting a landfall tomorrow night, maybe just after midnight along the west coast of Florida. A lot of the high resolution modeling is now pinpointing a landfall maybe just south of Tampa Bay. It's going to be very important where exactly this makes landfall because if it were to make landfall a little bit farther to the north than is expected right now, it would be an even bigger problem for the Tampa Bay area. There's nowhere for that water to go. But either way, it's going to be a huge issue for the entire west coast of Florida pretty much. And again, kind of the central coast from Tampa down towards Fort Myers, there could be a storm surge of up to 12 feet or so, and that'll be a big, big problem. And the wind field will be expanding with this. So when this makes landfall tomorrow night, uh, pretty much the entire Florida Peninsula, even pretty far away from the site of landfall, will have at least tropical storm force winds. But nothing like that back here at home. It's a quiet night. Once again, pretty chilly out there tonight. We'll see 40, even some upper 30s, and maybe even like we had first thing this morning, some patches of frost, a possibility for tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we'll blitz through future cast here over the next couple of days because there's not much to show you. It's going to be another pretty nice day on Wednesday, a little bit on the cool side, despite the sunshine up to 61 tomorrow afternoon, and the hits just keep on coming through the end of the week. Some frost will be a possibility for the morning hours, but otherwise, Sunshine. And don't forget, we can have frost with temperatures not quite down to freezing like we had this morning. A few spots were down in the mid 30s. We can have frost around 36 or 37 degrees because the ground temperature can be a little bit colder. And speaking of colder, next week, look at that 54 Tuesday on uh, Monday, I should say. 54 on Tuesday of uh, next week. 51 degrees is way below the average for October. That's a little more like November. So mm -hmm. this week's cool. Next week, even colder. Yes. yes. Starting to get much colder for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks, Eric. Sir. Here's a look at what's trending.